Daddy! Oh! Good morning, guys. So here we are, uh, really close to the top of the world, but just to the uh, west of the top of the world is Dome Plateau. So uh, it is a medium difficulty trail, about 30 some odd miles, 30 plus miles, but it offers great uh, views. Uh, you can actually go and hike through some arches. They've got some caves. River right there. Um, Colorado River that we're just uh, crossing by, and it's actually just outside Arches National Park. But we are uh, clear over here uh, on the backside of Arches, not in Arches, but on the backside. But we're just gonna do a simple trail and do some exploring. And look exploring. who happens to be here. Oh yeah. Shocker. Shocker. Trail Panda's here. So uh, let's see what this trail has in store for us. Looks like we stumbled across the uh, Ford Bronco off rodeo. Check that out. We were wondering if we we're going to spot Broncos in the wild. Look at all of those Broncos. They're pretty. Oh, they're pretty, absolutely. You two stuff. can buy me a Bronco and I'll, I'll, I'll see which ones are better. Yeah. How's that? Buy us a Bronco and we'll compare them side by side. You got a bunch of the Jeeper guys that are like, huh, I need to see some of this Bronco tech. Oh, oh yeah. I got a Jeep. Yeah. But just different, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Different. Yeah. Nice job. You got those buttons on still? Oh, you're not cheating. Nice job. Nice job. <laughs> hey, you guys will just go uh, park right behind that other one. Okay. Thank you. Is it right? You could not get no wires. Well, Oh, 
Nice job. Good job. Average trail difficulty for sure. It's a lot of off camber and buried rocks. I still, I still think a stock SUV could do this with good tire placement, right, Becky? Ah, uh, so far. I mean, we are following all those Broncos up there too. Those are stock. <laughs> So I just did something epically cool. And of course, Dave doesn't film it. And so now he's jelly. And he wants to go back and do it himself. I intentionally didn't film it to force us to have to go back and do it again. <laughs> no, it's just that the proof is you, not me. So we're making Trail Panda sit back up there and <laughs> wait for us. All right, I'm gonna drop you off here. Okay. Okay, so down here, take a look. Some serious ruts, man. And uh, walked up it like butter. Like it actually felt like really grippy and cool doing it. So Dave wants to come give this a shot here. Oh, that's so cool looking. Yeah. <laughs> that rocks. So Dave says I need to film this because it's pretty. But uh, first off, he stole the driver's seat again. And secondly, Ruby is flinging mud everywhere. I don't know if you can so see that. So it's not so pretty anymore. A little bit of rock on the passenger side.
Passenger a little. Straight. That's a 31. 31, huh? Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Uh-oh. All right, so we're coming up to the caves up here, but it uh -oh. rained the other day. Uh-oh. Uh oh, Daddy! Oh! Dude, it was clean still. <laughs> You're cleaning her. Uh, oh my God, look at the hood. <laughs> it is brown. Don't open the window. Oh. Gee, oh, more honey. Please do not open my window. It's too hey, we're here at the caves. Oh, great. Now we gotta get out in the mud, guys. Yeah, don't rub down the side of the Jeep. Great. Yeah, awful. <laughs> awful. This is how you rock! Wow, that was loud. It's like up in the well. Oh, oh man. Seriously, honey. I was so mad. I said to him, I was like, you are cleaning this. Oh, look at all these caves. And actually, they don't want people climbing in there because people are tools. Oh, it goes way back there, huh? Oh, so there's a... Rock art. And the ruins got turned to rubble. Yeah, keep the critters out. So I guess we can walk in through here. Hey, that's barbed wire, guys. Don't touch the wire. Oh, wow. Super soft sand. All right, so I know I haven't really been showing like the path and how to get to all these places and stuff like that, but there are so many connecting paths and stuff like that. And there's a lot of people out there, especially Fun Treks that comes out uh, with their guidebooks that'll show you how to get to all these places. Uh, that's what we're using is Gaia uh, Maps and Fun Treks. Uh, so definitely refer to some of those if you want to figure out how to get to these places. I just wanted to make a video just to give you guys an idea about what the trail was, things that you can see. So uh, that trough right there, it fills with water. What? And there's a pipe coming out of the ground on the other Good. side, and there's just a little bit of water dripping out uh, with a natural spring. But uh, again, sorry I'm not showing you exactly how to get to all these places, but there's a lot of guidebooks that you guys can look at. Um, but uh, I don't know, I don't know if we're on our way out from here, but we'll uh, show either the next interesting thing or the uh, outro. So here we go. Alrighty, so. The uh, well that we were at is just over there, came around this way. If that's full of water, that's deeper than you expected. I got stuck halfway through that and had to back out. It's really, really, really deep mud. So here we are just on the other side. So they let you come in here, they just don't want you destroying uh, destroying the wall. I mean, there's a lot of just people engraving their names and stuff in the wall on the other side, dating back to 18, 
1889 was the oldest one that we saw. Good job, Catherine. Stay there, I'm gonna take a picture. I right, took you off the gimbal here, so I need some lighting. So this is the lower cave. It's a hard stone floor. Mm -hmm. I'm actually using the phone to see because it's amplifying the light. There's a there's a depression right in front of you. Well, I mean, if you're hiding from the elements and stuff like that, like heat. Oh, this would be. You got water light coming in over there. Down the hole. Kids! That's cool. So, if you guys decide to take the ATV exit here that goes out back to the highway on the north side of things, um, just know that for Jeeps it starts getting pretty tight so this will be more of a difficult rated terrain if you want to take the ATV side of things um, so far where I've really encountered anything that you can't do but by comparison to everything else that uh, the rest of the trail has been um, this is definitely a challenge so again this is the ATV access so it gets narrow and then got has some bigger climbs Okay, where are which way are you gonna go? Okay. Now turn it yeah. Okay, come forward like that. Okay, straighten it just a hair that way. Okay, come forward. Keep coming. Keep coming. Okay, a little bit this way. Okay, keep coming. Okay, a little bit back that way. All right, keep coming. I think I got you. Okay, step down on that side a little bit. Go ahead. Slow, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep your tires right there, right that direction. Okay, straighten out your tires a little bit. Perfect. Keep coming. Okay, you're going to drop. Okay, this side will go just a hair before the other. Perfect. Just come out of it, babe. You're going to have to come over this rock a little bit. All right. Keep, you're keeping your back tire Okay, on. yeah, just keep that there. there. You okay, you're going to drop in the back. You got it. Sweet. I'm too busy trying to get him alive and he's like, Grr. no, come down this way, I thought. Right? Or are we going to do, okay. That's fine. You're good. Let's go this way. Yeah, that's what I thought we were doing. Okay, straighten out. Okay, that I like. Come this way. Okay, now you're going to come back up. There you go. Now, now keep your, yep, there you go. Okay. All right, you're gonna drop in the front. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Ouchie mama. Passenger side, driver side. You're done. Back. So once you get off the wrong trail, because <laughs> we weren't where we thought we were, we, we were right where uh, trails off-road and Gaia said we should be. 
But uh, that little uh, quarter mile offshoot reconnects to dirt road. So uh, as long as you stay in like the main roads and don't turn down a road that doesn't look like it's very traveled, even though it's marked designated route, um, you're okay. Um, but yeah, I, we're back to what the normal should be for this trail. And I think we're gonna go ahead and close it out from here because we are just about back out to the highway. What'd you guys think about this trail? Good. Good, okay. Mixed map. Mixed map, oh wow. Ooh, we, we have a different review today. We have a different today. review today. It's like this, double thumbs. All right guys, uh, we are going to do cliffhanger tomorrow. So we're gonna take the rest of the afternoon off. So thanks for tuning in, like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next video.